Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to Pretty Planet. My name is Tara for those of you that are new and for those of you that are returning, I do thank you guys so much for coming back to hang out with me. As you can tell in the title and as you can see here, I have something super exciting to share with you guys. If you want to see what's in this box, and I know that you do because you clicked on this video, you know what to do. Stay right there and just keep watching. you guys i am super excited for this video i'm super excited to be sharing this with you i pray that everyone is doing well i'm doing good i can't wait to open this and get my hands on it as you guys can tell in the title this is a 2025 faith focused planner we're going to go through all the details about this planner you guys i'm going to tell you a little bit about the company and then you guys stay tuned to the end because i will share with you guys a discount code for five dollars off your purchase if you're interested in this planner you guys this is absolutely beautiful i originally saw this planner on a youtube review from the owner her name is anna she is the owner of bell v stationery and she did a full flip through of this planner and i just fell in love so she was so gracious and kind to send me one you guys to share with you we're going to open this beautiful package as you can see i've taken it all out of that big box and we're going to open it, go through everything. And if you guys have any questions or anything, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And I will address all of your questions. But also, make sure you look in the description box below for any details regarding this planner, how you can get it, and the $5 off discount code. Let's get into it, you guys. So... We have this nice black wrapping with this pretty thank you sticker on it. Ooh. Then we open up to all of our goodies. Let me move this out the way. We have this thank you card here from Bellevue Inspire Creations. Again, I will have all of her information linked below. This is beautiful. And we have here a very nice bookmark. Maybe I should use some of the black paper so you guys can see what the bookmark looks like. It is kind of like a frosted plastic. Maybe that helped, I'm not sure. And it says at the top, it's a new day and it snaps into the planner. And then at the bottom, it says, write the vision, make it plain. Ah, you guys know that scripture and I love it. We have here some stickers. We're gonna go through everything, you guys. We are not gonna leave any stones unturned. <laughs> yes, we're gonna go through it all. So, we have these stickers here. They're on glossy paper, and there's some quotes. It says, keep going, let's celebrate. Life is full of adventures, living out loud, living vibrantly, my big dreams, pray about it, praying first, QT, time with Jesus, self-care day. Did I say praying first? Okay, maybe I did. Staying positive, take a break, trusting for it, walking by faith, yes I can, living colorfully, too blessed to be stressed, my vision, Sabbath rest. And then we have some of these functional stickers here very very pretty and we have more quotes coffee with jesus you guys know that's my thing i love to have my coffee with jesus of course dream plan act achieve date night enjoying today faith over fear i've got this following my dreams fulfilling purpose girls night don't forget i love jesus god is in the midst of her I'm starting today, I'm thankful, happy thoughts in his hands, it is finished, faith in it, 
feeling blessed and important. These are absolutely beautiful. And when you guys purchase this planner, you also get these stickers as well as a free gift. And this planner comes with this beautiful dust bag that says Belle V Inspire Creations. Live vibrantly, live colorfully, live out loud. And you guys, that is her motto. And you'll also notice that we have some of those stickers that say the same thing. So I will put these aside. And I know there's a glare. My apologies, but we're gonna get this out and go over this beautiful planner. All right, you guys, look at this box. It is very nice, it's sleek, it's velvety. You can also store your planner in here. I believe on the website, this is actually called the storage box. And it says, plans to succeed, planner 2025 in the gold lettering. I love this already, I can't wait. Okay, let's dive into it. Let's open this box and see what we get. All right. We have our planner packaged here in some bubble wrap to keep it protected. I do appreciate when things are wrapped appropriately. I don't like bent pages or things like that. All right, you guys, here it is. Feast your eyes on this gorgeousness. It is absolutely beautiful. I love the sleekness of the black and white with the accent of gold letters. Gold here. We have the gold metal coil and we have the gold metal corners as well. And this is the front. Very, very pretty. This is a seven by nine planner. We have the back here. And it says, Bellevue Inspire Creations. Live vibrantly, live colorfully, live out loud. I love that. Okay, before I go too far, I want to show you guys that it also has this gold elastic band that you can use to keep your planner shut like this. There we go. So it does stay closed very well. As you guys can see, this is a little bit thicker than what you would normally get in a normal planner. But of course, this is not our normal planner. This is our planner for our plans to succeed. So let's get inside and see what we get in this beautiful planner. I love this, you guys. It is very smooth, very like velvety to the touch. And when you open it, it has this black side here with a pocket. You can store your stickers here or anything that you would like to store here. And then on this side, there's another black sheet. It's so soft and buttery, you guys. I can't even explain how this feels, but it's very, very nice. And this page here serves as like a privacy page because when you turn the page, here it says these plans belong to, and then you put your name here. But I remember her saying on her review that she um, is a stickler of like opening your planners to like personal information or different things that may be written in your planners about you if others are sitting around. But this planner, if you open it, you have your privacy page here. So I do appreciate that. And this is our cover sheet. Also in this planner, our pages are numbered. So you'll see down here in this gray little box that it says one. And we're gonna flip the page and it says plans to succeed planner. This is our 2025 planner. This just tells about the copyrights and things like that. And then over here, it says plans to succeed planner, Belle V Inspire Creations 2025 absolutely beautiful. The pages are very, very nice. It's not thin at all. I don't know the GSM, 
but it's not really thin. And here we have a scripture that says, write the vision and make it plain on tablets that he who runs may read it. For the vision is yet for the appointed time and it hurries toward the end and won't prove false. Though it takes time, wait for it because it will surely come. It won't delay. And that comes from Habakkuk 2, 2 through 3. I love this scripture, you guys. You know, of course, because you're here that I am an avid reader and a decorative planner. I do a lot of planning things, faith planning, daily planning, goal planning. And of course, this scripture focuses on that. Write the vision and make it plain on tablets. So for me, this is going to be, of course, my goal planner. This is our welcome page and it says, hi there. Welcome to your new planner. How exciting. We call this a inspirational planner and you will see why soon enough. I am super excited for all the goals and plans that you are about to crush with your new beautifully designed, power packed yet functional planner that is easy to use. This planner was designed with you in mind. It is meant to inspire and empower you to organize and plan your days, weeks, and months so you can achieve more productive days. This planner is going to be your new BFF in planning and organizing everything that you need to get done. My prayer is that the hand-picked, spirit-inspired Bible verses on these pages will speak to your heart exactly what God wants you to know in this season of your life or in seasons to come. I also hope the quotes will give you the fuel and inspiration you need to take on each day's task and to conquer it. Remember, the best way to plan is to plan with God. You can make many plans, but the Lord's purpose is what will prevail. That is in Proverbs 19 and 21. And so it is always best to plan with him. Besides, the plans he has for you are plans of peace and not of evil to give you a hope and a future. That is from Jeremiah 29 and 11. And it says, so I encourage you to plan your days after with him. Happy planning. Enjoy your planner and remember to make it yours. Remember to always live vibrantly, live colorfully, live out loud. Yours truly, Anna. That is a welcome note from the founder. And as we turn the page, we have their motto quote again over here and then our story. I think this page tells you about why they created this planner, but we're going to go through it and we're going to figure it out on our own. <laughs> I already know this is created as we read in the welcome page to inspire and encourage us to make all of our plans and our goals and to achieve them and most importantly to include God in our daily planning. So here we have the vision board and you can create some things on there whatever you envision for yourself for the upcoming year. And as we turn the page, it says hope in hopeless situations, the devotional. It says defining hope. Hope, according to the Oxford Dictionary, is defined as a feeling of expectation and desire for a certain thing to happen. The Baker's Evangelical Dictionary of Biblical Theology defines it as to trust in, wait for, look for, or desire something or someone, or to expect something beneficial in the future. Godly hope is therefore trusting in, waiting for, looking for, and or expecting that something beneficial will happen by and through divine intervention from God. According to Joseph Prince, hoping in the Lord is not like the worldly hope of it may or may not happen. God hope is, I'm certain that it will happen. That's exactly it. Godly hope is when you can say something like, I know that I know that I know that God will come through for me. Jeremiah 29 and 11 says, For I know the plans and thoughts that I have for you, says the Lord, plans for peace and well-being and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. God's plan is for you to have hope and a future. It is not to cause you harm or destroy your future. So whatever it is that you are facing right now, that situation that seems hopeless, 
God says it is not to destroy you. He is going to see you out of it because his thoughts and plans are to prosper you. And it says, meditate on this, which is Jeremiah 29 and 11. And here there's a prayer that says prayer for the year. And I will read that to you guys as well. Just let me get my readers because there's going to be a lot of reading. I just want to make sure you guys, I don't miss giving you guys any details because I was truly inspired um, by this planner and I can't wait to use it, honestly. Okay, so it says, my prayer for you for the new year. This is a personal prayer that Anna wrote for her customers. And it says, my prayer for you for the new year. As you begin this new year, I pray that the strength and fortitude that you need to dominate this year will be supplied to you from above. May your new year be filled with undeniable love, peace, and joy. I pray according to Jeremiah 29 and 11, that as you plan with the Lord this year, he reveals to you the awesome plans he has for you. And may he give you the enabling grace to pursue and take actions toward those plans. As the year goes on, may you be continually found in his presence. May all your days be productive and may all your plans yield success. May your dreams become reality and may all your heart's desires according to his will be made manifest in your life. May you overcome the challenges that each day may bring and use it as a stepping stool to make the next day better. May you see the bright side in everything and see life from a hopeful perspective. At the end of the year, as you reflect on the year's events, may you be able to say, indeed, this was a great year. Amen. That was very nice. And then as we turn the page, we have routines and it says, why keep a routine? And then it goes over some information as to why we should keep a routine. And then there's five benefits of keeping a routine. And I'll just read the heading for each benefit. Number one says higher productivity. Number two says less stress. Number three says create structure in our lives. Number four says saves time and five says reduces procrastination. And then as we go over here, there are five productivity tips. Tip one says focus on one task at a time. Tip two says take regular breaks. Tip three says focus on your biggest task first. Tip four says time block your schedule. Tip five says limit interruptions. And then there's a bonus tip here. So I love this, you guys, and we may already do some of these things, but it's always nice to get another perspective or another way of doing things, especially as if we feel like we're not being productive and we're kind of like slacking off in our goals or achieving our goals. So then we'll flip the page. And we have a section here with some dotted lines that says brain dump. And then here we have goals for the year. And it says map out your goals for this year. And it has goal one, two, three, four, five. And then in the center here, it says my top five goals for the year that you put in those five spaces. And then in these spaces, it's spaces for actionable steps. So that's another thing that I love about this, you guys. We're not just setting goals. We're actually mapping out the steps that we need to take to accomplish and achieve our goals. So I love that. This is considered a directional planner. So it will um, direct us to go to a different page and then we'll I'll show you guys what I mean by that. But here it says the future is yours to create. Okay, so there is steps for step one. And then step two says now go to page 361 and rewrite your three goals as if you already accomplished it. By doing this, you are creating your future by setting your mindset up and shifting it to think and see success before it even happens. So let's go to 361 and I will show you guys what I mean by directional. So again, these pages are numbered. So we'll go down here to 361. And it says, 
Here's a quote over here. When you seek to discover the best in others, we somehow bring out the best in ourselves. That is from William Arthur Ward. And then it says manifestation and it came to pass. Write your goals from page 15, where we were, as if you already accomplished them. Romans 4 and 17 reminds us that God himself called those things that are not as though they were. So we also must declare those things we want to see manifest in our lives as though it already came to pass. I love that. And then it says, rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. That comes from 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. And then an example of that, it says, if your goal was, I will start a YouTube channel by the end of this month, then in this space, you would write something of this sort. I started my YouTube channel and posted my first video. So that is an example of how we see the directional things in this planner. It will direct us to another page and then it'll tell us to do something as it relates to our goals and the action steps to achieve them. So let's go back to where we were. We were on page 15 and then we have our calendar pages here. We have a full calendar of 2025 and a full calendar of 2026. I love that. And then here at the bottom, we have a note section. Very, very nice. I love this. And then we have 2025 holidays and they're listed here and continued here throughout the year. Very nice. And then we have first quarter seasons change, hello winter. We have our January page. It says my month of, and then it says here, write in your word for this month. Example would be consistency, growth, increase, intentionality, etc. So I love that this is kind of like a black page and we can use like metallic pens to fill this in, something that will show up very, very pretty and vibrantly because we are to live vibrantly. Isn't that the quote, you guys? <laughs> um, but yes, I would definitely use metallic ink pens to fill this in. Or you can also use a white pen. Here, there's another scripture that says, take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. That comes from Psalm 37 and 4. And then we have a monthly prayer. So I believe for each month, and we'll flip through, each month starts off with a monthly prayer. And that is this. And then we have another brain dump page here. And then you guys, we have affirmations. This is like everything that we need all in one planner. So here we can write, I am, and there's five different spaces for your affirmations. Very, very nice. I love that. And then we have stay away from those people who try to disparage your ambitions. Small minds will always do that, but great minds will give you a feeling that you can become great too. That's from Mark Twain. Then we have a goals page here. It says my top three goals for this month. So I believe this is for every month. We write in our goals here. And then you guys, there's a space for us to put a deadline. So when do we want to accomplish these three goals? And then here, step two is the top three actionable steps. Your top three actionable steps for goal number one, your top three actionable steps for goal number two, and then your top three actionable steps for goal number three. And then there's another scripture here at the bottom. Then we get into our monthly. There's a scripture here. This is my absolute favorite scripture. This means so much to me. This is very near and dear to my heart. This is very, 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 very personal scripture, you guys. Psalms 46 and 10. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Yes, amen. Um, and then we have our holidays that are already filled in for us. And it says, you've got this. And then we have our December small little calendar here and a notes section here. 
we go into the monthly and it says for the content creator in you or not because not everybody is a content creator so i'm going to read the suggestions it says for the content creator you can use this space to plan out your contents for the month or not it's totally up to you for non-content creators you choose how you want to use this space be creative here are some ideas school calendar church activities personal calendar business calendar etc so you just fill in the spaces with anything that you like or that's pertinent to you and your lifestyle and then we get into our days of the week there's a scripture up top and then it's in a vertical layout and each day says today's top three non-negotiables for each day you guys I love that, you guys, because I know for me, I am a list planner. I like to check things off. And if I fill in my top three, I'm going to want to make sure I have checks in these boxes. So that is going to be perfect for me. We have a note section down here and it says this week's positive affirmations. There's three spots where we can fill that in. And then it says, I am grateful for. So each day of the week, you can write something that you're grateful for. Here's our to-do list section again with those boxes that I love to check off. I love this. This is absolutely going to work for me. And then it says celebrate this week's wins. So it is not selfish to celebrate your wins, you guys. I am learning that. I am not one that will toot my own horn. I know that I work hard, but from what I'm learning day after day, it is okay to celebrate your wins. That's why we set goals and we strive to achieve them. And if we don't celebrate our wins, it doesn't, for me, it kind of like doesn't motivate you or push you to continue to achieve your goals. So we're going to celebrate our wins in 2025, right? Right. So that is what we get in the weeklies. And then it continues as the same. I love every week we have our three affirmation spots here. We have a spot where we can write what we're grateful for. So it's even a gratitude planner, you guys, because we have that here. Super cute. So let's go flip through the monthlies. At the end of each month, we have a notes page and then we have February and we do the same thing. We write our word for this month and we have our scripture here, our monthly prayer, our brain dump page, our monthly affirmations. We have a quote here from someone. This one is from Rose, Eleanor Roosevelt. And then we have our goals page for this month. Then we get into the monthly with all of our holidays already written in for us. Then we have our content creator or not. <laughs> then we have our weekly again with the spot for positive affirmations, gratitude and to do. And then it continues, you guys, for every month, just as we said. Each month says something different like this for April is second quarter, seasons change, hello spring. So I love that it tells us when the quarters start, just in case some of us may not know. Third quarter, seasons change, hello summer, starts in July. And... Fourth quarter, seasons change. Hello, fall. We're actually here in our fourth quarter. And that is what we get. Let's see. Our scripture for December. The words you say will either acquit you or condemn you. Matthew 12 and 37. I love this, you guys. Let's flip to the back page. There's another privacy page here. And then it ends with our notes page love 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 this we actually have quite a few notes pages in the back which is very very nice i love this you guys um again this is from bellevue stationery and i will have everything linked below 
This will definitely be put to use in 2025. This is going to be like my personal goals planner. I don't think I would do like any plan with me's or decorating in this. If I do use some stickers, it'll just be off camera probably. Um, but I'm definitely going to be using this because I want to continue to set goals for myself. And I want to, as I do already, continue to include God in all of my plans, you guys. That is mandatory in my life. It is a absolute must. It's a non-negotiable. God has to be included in everything that we do, right? So you guys, I love this. Let me know what you think about this beautiful Plans to Succeed 2025 planner. We are absolutely going to be crushing our goals. We're going to keep track of everything. We're going to do our vision board in here and some brain dump. We're going to show some gratitude in here. We have our affirmations in here. We can get it all done with this planner, you guys. I will be using others as well, but this is definitely, definitely going to be in the lineup. So you guys know towards the end of the year, I will do a 2025 planner lineup. Don't forget you guys, if you're not already subscribed and you like what you see here on my channel, here's your personal invitation to click that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos. You guys, because I will be coming back doing my planner lineup for 2025, you will see this again. And I will link the website below where you guys can find this and the code for you to save $5 off of your purchase is Pretty Planet, all caps. Thank you guys again for hanging out with me for this review of this beautiful Plans to Succeed planner. Thank you, Anna from Bellevue Stationery for sending me this planner. I do appreciate it. You can also check out Anna's YouTube channel as well, where she also goes over this planner and other planners that she has in her shop as well. So thank you guys again. I do appreciate each and every one of you. Give your girl a thumbs up if you like this video and I will see you in my next video. Remember to keep planning and make it pretty.